Hey everyone, my name is Johanna Lundström. I am the author of Sewing Jeans, the ultimate step-by-step -step guide to making your own jeans. And in today's video, I will share with you my top 10 tips for sewing really beautiful, professional looking jeans. And the best part, all these tips are very easy to put into action. So without further ado, let's start with tip number one. Always increase the needle tension when you're using heavy thread because both the thickness of the thread and the fabric affects the tension required. So always do a sample before you're top stitching your jeans. So how do we know that the needle tension is too loose? Well, in this example, you can see the loops that are formed on the other side. This means that the tension is too loose and you need to increase the needle tension. Instead, aim for a tension with no visible knots on either side, like in this example. I hope that you can see how balanced it looks. This is the look that you're going to aim for. And speaking of thread tension, Use regular sewing machine in the bobbin when you're sewing jeans on a regular domestic sewing machine. The reason for that is that these type of machines are not optimized for heavy thread in the bobbin. Now, I totally understand that you might still want to try it. You can. And if you want to, you can also check out the other videos that I've done on top stitching for suggestions on workarounds to fix this issue. But be aware that you will achieve the best result when you're using regular sewing machine thread. When sewing back pockets on G's, use a paper press template the size of the finished pocket to shape it. So what you do is that you place the template on the reverse side of the pocket piece, then you press in the seam allowance around the template and you get a beautifully shaped pockets with razor sharp corners. You'll be amazed on what difference this simple trick makes. For more ideas on sewing jeans pocket, I do recommend you check out that tutorial I've done about this very topic. Link will of course be in the description section. When top stitching of a bulky layer, such as where several seams intersect, the trick here is to insert a high jumper or another height compensate tool underneath the presser foot to level it. This will ensure even feeding and also prevent skip stitches. Now, sewing waistband can be a bit tricky, and one tip is to stitch a folding line on the inside of the waistband along the seam allowance. Then you press it in to ensure an even and sharp fold. And this little tip will make top stitching so much easier, and it will also look much better. Another tip for sewing waistband is to either base to keep it in place or you can also use water soluble double sided tape on the inner waistband. If you're using tape, just add it onto the seam allowance and finger press it in place. For suggestions on which brand of tape to use, check the description section for this video. Use a presser foot with an edge guide when top stitching close to the edge. This will make it way easier to stitch evenly. So what you do is that you align the blade guide along the edge and then you stitch. And I will say that most, if not all sewing machine has a version of this foot. And in fact, it might even be included in the toolbox that came with your machine. If you don't have heavy top stitching thread in a color you like, what you can do instead is to use two spools of regular thread and then you thread both strands in the needle. And if your sewing machine only has one pin to place the spools on, what you do is that you wind the thread on two bobbin spools, you stack them on top of each other and then you stitch. And this end result will look very similar to heavy top stitching thread. When stitching the second row when top stitching, use the outer edge of the presser foot as your guide because that lip is usually around 5 mm wide, which is the perfect space for that second row of stitching. When stitching zipper, create a reusable top stitching zipper template using heavy cardstock. Then you'll always have it ready when you're sewing jeans. You can also attach the template onto the fabric and stitch along the edge, which actually removes the need for tracing. 
And if you don't want to make your own template, I've actually created three different versions for free that you can download by following the link that you will find in the description section. If you want to learn more about sewing jean zipper, I highly recommend that you check out a very detailed video I've done showing the professional way to sew a jean zipper. Again, you will find the link in the description section. So I hope you enjoyed this video and of course I love to hear what are your favorite tips for sewing your own jeans. Please share in the comment section and if you want to learn even more about jeans making, I highly recommend that you get my book Sewing Jeans. It's available both as a print book and as an ebook and it's sold where books are sold. So if you want to learn more about my book, check the link in the description section. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!